I'm Clint Emerson, retired Navy SEAL. Throughout my career, I've seen the very worst of mother nature and human nature. From avalanches and hurricanes to civil wars and kidnappings, the secret to survival is being prepared, and this is your starter guide. In the teams, we often work in the cover of darkness. Tactical lights and night vision or thermal were essential when training for low light situations. We use the dark to our advantage. In an emergency, operating in the dark is a major hazard. In a major disaster, there is a very real chance your electrical grid might go down, temporarily leaving you without power for several days or even weeks. Ensuring you've got the right gear and resources to get you through until power can be restored is a key component for emergency preparedness. Our primitive and pioneering ancestors did it for centuries with oil lamps and candles. Today, we've got the added benefit of flashlights, some of which can be incredibly powerful. Add to that the advances in battery technology allowing increased brightness and runtime. And you'll find that one of the easiest ways to prepare for short-term power outage is with candles, lanterns, flashlights, and batteries. A lot of them. If you have the resources available, portable generators can make great additions to your emergency kit. They most likely won't be able to power your whole house, but can provide enough electricity to keep some essential household items running. Just remember, those generators run on fuel or propane or whatever it is you choose to hook up to them. You're going to need a sufficient supply of whatever that fuel is to keep it running. Know your generator's fuel consumption and take time to figure out how much of that fuel to store to give yourself an adequate supply to keep your power on. You'll also need to keep track of how old your fuel supply is to prevent it from becoming stale. Standard gasoline can be stored from three to six months, depending on where you live, but the addition of fuel stabilizers can extend its shelf life up to a year. A generator may be able to power a space heater or some electric appliances in a limited capacity, but candles and flashlights are really only useful as an easy way to solve the problem of living in the dark. If you have a wood-burning stove or a fireplace, you have a great source of heat already at your disposal. It also serves as a great way to cook your food or boil water or set the mood because we're all gonna be a little bored. Other resources you have at your disposal are cap stoves, propane grills, or outdoor fire pits you should be able to safely boil water and heat your food that way as well. Just remember to never bring outdoor camping gear inside your home. Carbon monoxide is a real threat and other gases that are produced are lethal. Only use these items according to the manufacturer's specifications. Darwin said that the discovery of fire was one of man's single greatest achievements. Fire generates light and heat, and in an emergency, the ability to generate those two things will play an essential role in survival. 